जी मैट फोकस और क्लासिकल जी मैट हाई आई एम जैक्सन आई एव स्कोर सेवन सिक्सटी ऑन द जी मैट एंड आई एम द क्रिएटर ऑफ बेस्ट सेलिंग जी मैट प्रिपरेशन कोर्सेस ऑन यूडमी डू चेक दम आउट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन लिंक्स द लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस वेदर यू शुड बी टारगेटिंग टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द जी मैट फोकस एडिशन और फॉर द क्लासिकल जी मैट नाउ देर इज लॉट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन आउट देयर आई हैव इवन सीन अ यूट्यूब वीडियो वेयर द स्पीकर वॉज क्लेमिंग एंड आस्किंग स्टूडेंट्स टू गो हैड एंड अपियर फॉर द जी मैट एज सून एज पॉसिबल एंड द रीजन दैट they were stating was that all the gmat material out there is soon going to be irrelevant now nothing could be further from the truth in this video first let's talk a few quick points about the gmat focus and what's the difference of the gmat focus from the classical gmat and then let's talk about what you should be doing whether you should be preparing for the gmat focus or for the classical gmat now remember registration for the gmat focus is already open and it will start on november 7th of 2023 as regards the classical gmat it will be phased out between jan to march of 2024 now when you talk about the gmat focus these are some of the things that you should know there will be three sections on the gmat focus there is the quantitative section which uh, will be for 45 minutes there is the verbal reasoning section which is again for 45 minutes and you have the data insight section which is also for 45 minutes you have 20 questions for data insights you have 21 question for quantitative section and you have 23 questions on the verbal reasoning section now what are some of the things that have changed with regard the syllabus when you compare the classical and the focus edition of gmat now let's take a look at that as regards quantitative section you no longer need to prepare for geometry because geometry has been moved out and that is good news for students because the geometry uh, was actually a um, huge syllabus for gmat and you can save a lot of time over there now when it comes to the verbal reasoning section you no longer need to prepare for sentence correction if you're taking the gmat focus edition and you also have a new section which is the data insight section now the data insight section consists of all that was there previously in the ir or integrated reasoning section now ir was not scored under the classical gmat but data insights is going to be scored for the gmat focus edition and it will matter for your final score the scoring also has changed the range of scores would be from 205 to 805 and a typical 760 score on the classical gmat would be equivalent to 705 on the gmat focus edition now remember on the gmat focus edition any score between 735 to 805 would be a 100 percentile score all right now we have already seen some of the major changes which you should know to start your preparation for the gmat focus edition now let's talk about whether you should be preparing for the gmat focus edition or for the classical gmat now to answer this question let's think about this together from first principles why is it that you are actually preparing for the gmat i'm sure it is because you want to get an admit in your dream b school right and remember it the your a good gmat score will also help you get into consulting or investment banking etc highly competitive fields your gmat score will help you there as well so that's just a side note now coming back you want to get your gmat done so that you can get an admit in your dream b school so think about in what admission cycle in what round or in which admission cycle you want to apply for b school so that should be a major th uh, thing that you think about when you decide between the gmat focus and the classical gmat now if you are planning to apply in this cycle round 2 then go with the classical gmat that's the first point that i bring to you now secondly another thing that you should think about when you're deciding between the gmat focus and the classical gmat is how well are you prepared are you already prepared well with the current format of the gmat in that case if you're well prepared already go ahead and give the current format of the gmat or the classical gmat now as you know the scores are valid for 5 years so there will be no change to that so go ahead and give your best shot now if you are somebody who's struggling with for example geometry or sentence correction 
all right uh, if you're str struggling with these sections and if you have quite some time before you plan to apply then i would suggest that you prepare for the gmat focus and you give the gmat focus now the reason for that is you don't need to prepare for geometry you don't need to prepare for sentence correction and yes there is a new section called data insights but preparing for the data insight section will be much easier than preparing for the sentence correction or geometry etc because it will not take you that much time if you just spend some good amount of time some quality time for one or two weeks you can easily become very good in data insights so that's the second consideration that i bring forward to you and remember don't let this question waste your time don't get confused just think about it from first principles from a standpoint of common sense why is it that you're preparing for the gmat and think about taking which of these exams will help you achieve your goal faster so think about this logically take a decision and then stick to your plan prepare well and spend time actually putting in effort to prepare for the gmat and scoring a excellent score which will help you in your career now remember do check out the links in the description below if you're facing difficulty in your gmat preparation first taking out some time and preparing for the gmat in a structured manner will help you significantly improve improve your score so first prepare with structured preparation have strong fundamentals and then go ahead and solve more and more questions and also take practice tests all the best in your preparation